Hey, hey, Scorpio, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your December 2021 bonus reading. So welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we're going to dive into the collective energy of Scorpio and we're going to take a look at the gift from the universe and the medicine, which is the antidote to your healing on this soul's journey. So if you have been following me for a while, you know that for the bonus, it's usually health, wealth, and abundance. But spirit divinely guided me to do the gift and the medicine this month. So I am excited to dive in as this is all intuitive. All right. And just a friendly reminder, Scorpio, these are general messages. Please do take what resonates. Leave the rest behind. And if you are interested in a personal reading or even entering into that free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, so now the gifts that may be showing up for you, this can this may have been an accumulation over the last three years, what you've been working towards and you're finally seeing the benefits of something taking shape. This can be uh, the benefits of gaining a gift from 2021, especially if it's been a difficult year for you. This can also be uh, the gifts of the last few months for you. So let's dive in and take a look and we will clarify. All right. So starting off here, Scorpio, we have uncharted sea, the uncharted sea. So what this card breaks down to here is uh, moving out of your comfort zone. So this is quite beautiful for you. So for a lot of you, there has been trials, tribulations, there has been errors, there has been you stepping outside of your comfort zone and doing things in a whole new way. Not just you, Scorpio, but for the collective. We've been going through a difficult time in history here. So you may have noticed even more so that things in your life got shaken up here. This could be job losses, maybe health issues, possibly relationship ups and downs here. You've had to navigate through these challenging times. And for some of you, you've had to do this alone, or you may have lost people that you've really uh, cared deeply about here, Scorpio. Uh, for others of you, this is doing something in a whole new way. Perhaps you lost a job with a company that you were involved with for many, many years, and when you found yourself jobless, you had to figure out what would you like to do or what can you do with the resources that you have and the education that you have. So this is about you going into, again, uncharted sea, uncharted territory, and you're finally seeing the benefits of the challenging times that you have uh, possibly crossed in the last few years. If it was a relationship that was toxic, something may have ended for you, and you're finally realizing that regardless of how painful that was, that it's actually in your best interest because it's a lot Allowing you to attract new energy that is better suited for you. But let's clarify and see what this means for you, Scorpio. Let's take a look. They're also giving me the name Lucy. If that is your name, maybe a middle name, maybe it's a name of a business, please take it as it resonates. The name Lucy. All right. Thank you, Spirit. So we have showing up for you the gifts. Wow. Oh my word. We have two major arcana and two chakras. So you're definitely going through a lot of beautiful gifts here. You will see the benefits of everything that you have been through. You have the star showing up. This is about healing. This is about inspiration. Your dreams coming true after a tower moment. So again, very beautiful because the star talks about an end of a difficult period and that is your gift here. There's been challenges. There's been loss. There has been change. There's been transformation. But out of all of this, you grew into a better version of yourself here, Scorpio, because you've dealt with that. You've learned how to heal from the situation here. And now there's an end of whatever has been difficult for you here. You're finally able to step into a brand new beginning. So I love that the star card shows up for you in your gift category, because it's again about your dreams coming true, whatever those are that you've been wishing or wanting for quite a while, you're going to finally see that the universe is opening the doorway to either love, success, abundance, 
uh, freedom, whatever that looks like for you, Scorpio, you're going to see it manifesting, especially in 2022. Next, we have balance showing up. This is the card of temperance, the card of patience. So you've discovered patience. This is something you've learned, and this is a gift that a lot of times people don't like to hear that word. They don't like to wait for anything here, but you've had to wait. You've had to endure patience over this challenging time. You've had to be patient with yourself. You've had to be patient with your loved ones, with possibly coworkers. Uh, you've had to be patient in general about your healing as well. But now it's coming to a time where you've done the work. You've stepped outside of your comfort zone and uh, you've brought balance into your life once again here. So this, this card showing up is saying you've waited a while to receive this gift. You've waited a while to compromise or to bring this energy out or alive. And it's finally coming towards you, which is quite beautiful. Next, we have heart and throat chakra. So the throat chakra here is all about communication. It's located in that throat center. So a lot of you uh, may be vocalizing what your needs are. You may be expressing yourself, expressing through creative endeavors as well. Maybe you are pursuing passion projects. Maybe you are speaking more calmly or patiently to loved ones because you have it mixed here with the heart chakra. And that heart is all about opening your heart, receiving, and giving love equally. This is about forgiving and letting bygones be bygones and uh, learning from challenges that have come your way. But now you can go in a new direction based on experience here. So very beautiful energy. This can be new love coming in for you as well, uh, Scorpio. For others, it's about healing a situation involving the heart. And for those of you that maybe are in a profession, you may be speaking more, you may be communicating more, or you may be pursuing your passion projects. That may be why something happened in the first place. Perhaps there was that job loss that led you to pursue your passion here where you're doing something that is more emotionally fulfilling. So beautiful gifts showing up here for you, Scorpio, especially as we go into the new year. Even though this is a December bonus reading. Spirit keeps telling me that these readings here regarding the gift and the medicine are timeless. So what that means is these are the gifts that have accumulated and you may now be seeing the effects of things taking place. Uh, perhaps you lost a job two years ago, but now you're finally uh, seeing the finances come in in a business you've built. Perhaps you got out of a relationship a year ago and you're finally ready to move on and heal and see other people. So what that means is 2022 here, opening up, yes, you stepped out of your comfort zone, but you've also done the healing that's needed to take place in order for forward movement success, with success behind it. So let's take a look at the medicine. So again, the medicine is the antidote to your healing journey here, your soul's journey. Oh, wow. We have awakening genius. So a lot of you, this is something quite creative. This is a creative expression. So the medicine here, very important message is make sure that you are creatively expressing yourself because you have the gift here to do so. This throat chakra not only is about communication, but it's about creativity and expression. And when it's mixed with the heart, you can do big things here, Scorpio. If you're communicating what it is that you love, whether again, this is to loved ones, uh, maybe romance, maybe family or children or parents, this, uh, for a lot of you, this is a passion project or some sort of work that is meaningful to you in a, a beautiful new way that you're not used to. Awakening genius is the medicine here. So what this means is if you are able to tune into that energy of creativity, whatever you want to do here that's creative, this can be something that helps you on your soul's journey. And it can be anything. Even the accountant can be creative. Okay, so this is about you. It doesn't mean that you have to do this uh, on a regular basis and make money, although that certainly would be nice. But this is about you maintaining that creative flow inside you here and it'll help heal and it'll help balance. Uh, so let's take a look and clarify what this medicine is for you. Awakening genius. Some of you are just starting to touch base with that uh, intuitive side or touching base with actually using your creative abilities for the good. So let's take a look and clarify spirit. Thank you. Oh my goodness. We have another chakra showing up. Some of you may be actually 
working with the chakras more now than before. Two more cards, please, Spirit. Thank you. All right. Some of you may certainly be in a passion project, like I said, uh, where maybe you're doing holistic work. You're working with healing the chakras, even if it's not physically. Let's say you're not a Reiki practitioner or yoga uh, yoga instructor that teaches about the chakras. You certainly could be healing yourself or others on an energetic level here. So crown chakra is very important as this showing up as the medicine because you are being divinely inspired to open up to your creative side here, Scorpio. You have a lot of creation, a lot of passion, a lot of fire and inspiration. There's a spiritual force within you that is wanting to break free if you haven't already started to do that here. You have a lot to offer the world and the crown chakra is opening up for you, but and it's expressing that creative genius within you here. So very beautiful. So again, in order uh, for you to live your soul's purpose and help with that healing energy, it's important for you to listen to the divine and stay open. Instead of uh, possibly you may find yourself thinking one way, one direction. We call that narrow-mindedness at times. Uh, but this is about staying open to all possibilities that are coming your way. Not having expectations on what an outcome should be here, Scorpio. Uh, but staying open to all the beautiful possibilities that the divine is bringing into you. Uh, we have the eight of... Wands, beautiful, success and growth. I love this for you. This is about speed. It's about velocity. It's about uh, moving forward. Finally, again, after a time of possibly waiting a while to see results on something. Maybe you've been looking for a job for a while. The gift here is that, yes, you're stepping outside of your comfort zone, doing something that maybe you're unfamiliar with, but ultimately it's going to bring a lot more success and growth than that past direction would have ever taking you here Scorpio so beautiful energy we have strengthening bonds this is the ace of pentacles this is about you having a new beginning and it looks like it could be in prosperity wealth career success abundance uh, but this is stability so maybe it's stability within your home life your relationships uh, getting back on your own two feet after a health crisis or a health issue uh, or nesting egg syndrome I think it's called nesting egg syndrome, where, um, where maybe somebody's left the home. Uh, this can also be about you finally uh, retiring, and maybe you're chasing your passions here. But there's a brand new beginning that is, it may seem a little shaky, but ultimately it has the potential here to grow and succeed in bigger ways than you can imagine here. And then lastly, we have Simply Love. This is the Six of Cups energy. There's a lot that I get when I tune into the energy of this card. And the Six of Cups can be a card of a second chance here. It can be the card of nostalgia. Uh, and it's also about healing any childhood wounding, healing any limiting beliefs that you may have regarding yourself or regarding situations that may have held you back in the past. Uh, this can be about you reconnecting and doing something that maybe you wanted to do since childhood. Perhaps you've always wanted to be that teacher or a writer or a dancer or maybe inspiring others to heal from the inside out. This is saying that you may be revisiting a certain area in your life and now the universe's gift here is to allow this to come in as a second chance based on experience, based on knowledge, based on wisdom here. So this, the message here again is simply love. And it's very important for you to stay open-minded, but also allow yourself love internally, but allow yourself these new chances and opportunities that are coming your way. So again, the message here regarding the menace medicine is stay open to the divine stay open to listening to your higher self whatever creative ideas that you may be getting through meditation or channeled writing or automatic writing uh, maybe through energy work or working with the, the chakras you are gaining a lot of uh, a lot of beautiful insights a lot of aha moments or light bulb moments may be showing up for you especially towards the end of the month scorpio and flowing into that new year you have a lot of ideas write them down on paper because sometimes you may have the tendency to have a really really good idea and then don't follow through this is saying that the universe is holding you uh accountable here and saying we're opening this door for you but it's up to you to step through it so let's take a look scorpio and get the messages from spirit we have give back. 
Today is the day to cast aside normal routines and make your main purpose to serve. It's about giving back without any thoughts of expectations or getting anything in return. Reach out and touch other people's spirits as it's highly likely that someone really needs it today. Beautiful. The main energy that is coming from this card is... Uh, releasing expectations like we spoke of in the beginning here, releasing attachments to an outcome here because you are stepping outside of your comfort zone and it may look a little bit scary and you may have a plan or try to have a plan intact here, but it's saying that if you listen to the divine uh, and it may be creative and maybe something that's off the charts here for you, but this is about you giving back and um, just bringing more compassion into your life, also more gratitude. We have a child's love. The love between a parent and child is one of the most precious and deep connections we make during our time on earth. Children start out as part of us and from their first cries, they establish themselves as the bigger part of our hearts. Beautiful. Some of you uh, may be, again, that empty nest syndrome where maybe a child has left the home or maybe you are pursuing that childlike innocence or childlike dream that you've wanted to do since your own childhood here. Uh, for some of you, this may be even connecting with your own children or your own parents uh, as well. So we have a child's love. Next we have receive. Oh, wow. So beautiful because we have give back, which again talks about expectations, well, but then we have receive. And I feel like this is your gift because you can see that this is your energy here. Looking down, the universe is handing you physically a gift, even though I don't feel like this is physical. Uh, it certainly could be, but I feel like this is a gift for you to unwrap and accept only if you would like here. And it says, you are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. So that may be because these are a little bit counterintuitive. It says, give back. Maybe you are the one that is constantly giving, 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 but now it's time for you to receive your gift as well. Uh, it says, just as with the ebb and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is the natural law and order of the universe. So this is about a gift coming in for you, uh, but they are showing me possibly even towards mid to end of January 2022. All right. And then lastly here from Spirit. Oh, I love it. We have Be Proud. Be proud here, Scorpio. It says it's time to celebrate all that you've achieved, all that you are, and all that you will become. Every once in a while, it's important to stop and acknowledge what you've achieved and to be proud. Yeah, exactly. I love this. Scorpio, you've been through a lot here. You've opened up your heart. You have learned how to communicate what it is that you've needed here for a while. And you've brought balance back into a situation that may have been traumatic for you. There may have been a loss. You've been through the ups and downs, the ebbs and flows. You've made it this far here. And especially for those of you that did have a difficult 2021, be proud of yourself for all that you've overcome this year because 2022 is a whole new energy for a lot of you Scorpios. Uh, this is about stepping into your power. And I see that the gift here is it's almost like you're in between worlds where you're still maybe feeling the choppy effects of the change of the challenges that have been your coming your way here for the last maybe few years, maybe last 10 years. Maybe you felt like you've had just a, a long ride. I feel like that is starting to calm down now and uh, be proud of how far you've come because now you're going to see the gifts that the universe is offering to you in the, the month or excuse me, in the year 2022. All right, Scorpio, that is what I have for your December 2021 I'll call it a timeless uh, the gift and medicine reading. I hope it resonates. If so, please feel free to hit that thumbs up button. It certainly helps get the divine channeled messages out there to those that need to hear it most. Also, feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, again, check out the other videos if you'd like. And I am sending all of you beautiful Scorpios lots of love and lots of light. Till next time.